This explains Beth. so much. Beth. She's the Beth. Alright. Gotta move, Jack. Roger. Keep a skeleton crew and wait for arrival of Monarch Actual. Everybody else needs to reunite at the Dry Docks Cronin Extraction Grounds. Wait for further orders there. Library is set to blow in five minutes. We're not getting any response from the sniper unit. Investigating the rooftops as we speak. Oh, lovely. The whole sniper unit's wiped. No way he did that on his own. We need to find out who's unaccounted for. This might be an inside job. Let's start a list of who's missing. HQ's half silent sight forces on the rooftop. Negative. Saw what I hit. I hit the button to melee. What's he do? Throw it in a bubble. Fucking idiot. <laughs> Welcome to Quantum Break, everyone. Somebody's down. Choice is on the rooftop. How did I survive long enough to reload? Let's rock and roll. Okay, gotta get to the library. Stay Fuck. sharp! He's, He's here! here. Open fire. Jack fucking Joyce.
I knew it. Wasn't fixed. Not yet. Does it work? In theory, yes. We gotta get back to my time machine. We gotta get us back to the time where you came from. No, future. No, 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 no. The only we way. We need to stop the fracture here, in this time. Now. Oh, Jack, listen to me. The fracture wasn't fixed in the time where you came from. So fixing it here, it's always gonna fail. People are going to die, Will. You haven't seen what happens between now and then. No, but you have. What you have done has set in motion a chain of events that cannot be broken. Look, we don't know And if it could be broken, it could jeopardize the entire world. We get one shot at this. There's too much at stake, Jack. Look, I know the stakes, okay? You gotta let go, Jack. Everything you have done to get to this place is necessary. Trust me. The past is set. But the future is... Some of you are probably confused out of your minds at the logic here. This way. If what you said is true, then how did I save you? I saw you die, Will. Think, Jack. You never physically saw me die, did you? I watched a roof collapse on top of you. Creating the illusion of my death, yes. Which brought you here to make sure it remained only an illusion. It's all a loop. If time is an egg, then... No egg metaphors. <laughs> what did I just do? We have to get out of here and get to the Bradbury. Oh, great. It's a mural of the entire game. Nice. about that later. Right. Let's save the world first. Come on. Let's meet up with the convoy. Didn't they go on yet? Well? Okay. They're gone. Let's go. Huh. Surprised you actually waited. It's almost like you're listening to me. Well, the last time I didn't listen to you, the fracture occurred. Consider me open to following orders. Huh. That doesn't sound like my brother. I know. Yeah, my teeth hurt. <laughs> I should not have drank or opened that Coke. We can't <laughs> risk helping them. I know what happens if I don't. And it'll still happen, Jack. I meant what I said back there. And there are no exceptions. If you get suckered into trying to change what can't be changed, it may cost us everything. Please, Jack. Our future depends on this. You said Monarch had the countermeasure this whole time. How? Why? Paul was using it to fuel some kind of messed up survival program. Uh -huh. They must have somehow repurposed it as a localized Cronon field regulator. This is where I first learned how to use the time rush. I always assumed nice. it was Beth Wilder who had the countermeasure, keeping it safe. 
She was the one who warned me. Told me to build it. I know. You met her. Is she helping us? She was. Ah, I see. Come on. Wait, what? Why are you hesitating? Ah, uh, Beth. Cop a feel, bro, why well, you still can? unlock secret content in the show it makes it sound like there's a TV show actually going on in the world right now and not just part of the game although in all honesty Quantum Break seems more like a show than a game in my opinion come on let's wrap this up man Final Moments, Act 5, Part 3. Yeah, these Telltale-style games, I say Telltale in the sense that, um, story-oriented, decision-based games, where, the deci or where the, your decisions change the story. That's what I mean by Telltale-style. So, Telltale-style games usually only have five acts, or f five parts. <laughs> but they have parts in each act. Every Telltale game ever made has had that. Until Dawn had, I think, like, eight, I think. Yeah, I, I, can, I consider Until Dawn a Telltale style game. But it's not made by Telltale. That's the difference. Is it Telltale games, like... Like, actually made by them, like The Walking Dead, Game of Thrones... Uh, Wolf Among Us, those are actually made by Telltale. I'm talking about the style, because they kind of set the bar for it. Sure, there are games, plenty of games before that, like Fable and stuff like that, that kind of had that, but it wasn't to the extent that the Telltale was. All right, enough of this telltale bullshit. I know I've kept you in the dark. But when I started my work, you were so young, and afterwards, I always hoped it would all pass you by without touching you. Yeah, I get it. Come on. <laughs> 